If you haven't done so already, go ahead and pause the screen and read the problem, or you may even want to reread the problem. And then we'll continue. So in a projectile motion question, what you want to do first is draw a picture of the scenario being described so that you have a better view of what's happening. So we have, in this case, a cliff and a projectile being fired horizontally. And they say that the initial speed with which the projectile is being fired is 250 meters per second. So we can label the initial speed being 250 meters per second. They also mention in the question that the projectile is fired 45 meters above flat ground. So we can come over here and just label this as 45 meters. And the question begins by asking us how long the projectile remains in the air. Now for all projectile motion questions, what you want to do is divide the motion into two distinct directions because the particle will be moving in both the x and the y direction. And what I like to do is label the five parameters for each direction. Now those five parameters are going to be the initial speed, the final speed, the displacement, the acceleration, and the time. And we can do that for both the x and the y direction. You'll notice I'm doing a delta y for the displacement in the y direction. So let's write down what we know. The question gave us that the initial speed in the x direction was 250 meters per second. Now one of the keys here for the y direction is that if a projectile is fired horizontally, the initial y speed will be zero. That is absolutely critical to understand that a projectile for fired horizontally has an initial speed in the y direction of zero meters per second. Back to the x direction. They seemingly didn't give us any more information, but for projectile motion questions, there actually is no acceleration in the x direction. And since there's no acceleration, the object's speed will not change with time. So its final speed will also be 250 meters per second. As of now, we don't know delta x, and we also don't know the time of flight. Let's see what we know in the y direction. Well, we do know that the projectile, as it falls, has a vertical displacement of 45 meters. So we're going to plug that in here, but I recommend that you call that negative 45 meters because the particle has traveled in a downward direction. So that negative sign will be absolutely critical. Particles accelerating in the y direction due to gravity have an acceleration of negative 9.8 meters per second squared. We don't know the time and we don't know the final speed in the y direction. So take a look at these parameters and think about what you might do. You might want to pause the video. But it turns out that we're going to be able to use the information in the y direction to be able to calculate the time of flight. So let's attempt that. We have this equation. But that might not be useful because we don't know the final we don't know the final velocity right now. We also have this equation. And in fact, this is going to be the winner, because we know the initial velocity, we're seeking to calculate the time, and we know the acceleration. So we can go ahead and plug in the initial speed in the y direction, 